Close your eyes and imagine an engineer. Now open them. How many of you thought of a young guy wearing a hoodie and sitting on his computer all day? Raise your hand. Now raise your hand if you thought of an older guy wearing a full suit and a pocket protector. <laughs> all right. So how many of you thought of Elon Musk? Steve Jobs, or even Bill Gates. How many of you thought of a female engineer? My name is Beatrice Mendoza. I'm the daughter of a once undocumented mother. I'm a child that comes from a single parent home due to the death my father had with cancer. I'm a first generation college graduate in the States. I'm a college graduate with two degrees. I'm a Hispanic female. My name is Beatrice Mendoza, and I'm a female engineer. <laughs> when one thinks of an engineer, they think of a genius, a mathematician, one that can solve world problems. When I think of an engineer, all I think of is they see a problem and they fix it. It's as simple as that. I was doing that since the day I was born, and I didn't even know about it. Now, let me tell you about my story of how I became an engineer. I was born August 20th, 1995, to two loving parents. I was born in a little town called Bullhead City, Arizona, where your average summer is 120 degrees, where everyone spends their summers in the Colorado River, where the chances of me overdosing or going to jail are higher than going to higher education. Fast forward six years later, suddenly my father died of cancer. He was my best friend, my rock, my everything. My mother, my inspiration, my role model, she never let this be a bump in our road. She took me in under her wing with everything she had and never let me see her down. I was everything you wanted a child to be I, during education. I was your att perfect attendance child I also had perfect grades and was, had advanced classes. Then come high school. The eight years passed my father's death and it hit me like a rock. That's when I started to grieve his death. I was beyond your angry teenager. I was belligerent. I thought there was no consequences to nothing I did. I didn't know what I was doing in life, nor I thought I had no purpose. Therefore, I did terrible in school never wanted to go. By the time I knew what GPA was, I already trashed it and ruined it my junior year. I didn't know what financial aid was. I wasn't the kid that they thought was going to make it. I wasn't the kid that they thought was going to go to university. They didn't think I was going to be anything in life besides working across the river for the rest of my life. So nothing happened during high school to me except my senior year. I had an economics teacher tell me at the end of this year, you know numbers, you know how to work with them, and you can see them with an eye that no one knows before. I took that in with a grain of salt. When we are young females, we're conditioned to like reading or writing. We're never taught to like math or science. But the age of 13, that's when I started to learn my love for code. I started to learn HTML and CSS. My mother never questioned me why I played with Barbies and Legos. She never questioned me why I was locked away in my room learning my love of HTML and code. I loved learning everything about it, but I never took it seriously. Then I graduated high school, barely, with a 2.6 GPA. A light flipped, it, flipped in me. It was time for me to start applying to colleges. It was time for me to get my life together. Then, out of nowhere, I heard a voice. It was the voice of my father telling me, education is all you have when I was a little girl. 
I was like, I can't let my life end like this. I can't have my life end in a small town. I'm your cliche girl that comes from a small town but has big city dreams. Therefore, I went to my local community college. I knew I wasn't ready for university, but I knew I wanted to continue education. I started out as a psychology major. I was in National Honor Society. I was on Dean's List. I was also a student speaker. Someone asked me during my college undergrad degree, what's your dream? I said, my dream is to attend Arizona State University in Phoenix and be a Baird Honor student. But it's never gonna happen, I can't afford college. So I took that in with a grain of salt and said it's a dream, it's something that's never gonna happen. I graduated with my degree in psychology of May of 2015. I didn't know what I still wanted to be. I knew that I hated psychology. <laughs> I knew I didn't want to continue on. So I did the craziest thing and did my dream. I applied to Arizona State University. I claimed my major's industrial and organizational psychology. I applied to Baird the Honors College. And then two weeks before I started Arizona State University, I switched my major. I was like 75% of undergrads who switched their major, except I switched it going into my junior year. I switched it to focus in human systems engineering. What's the first question I always get? What's human systems engineering? I'm not your typical mechanical engineer. I'm not your typical electrical or software. Human systems engineering. I take the human and I factor them in into a scenario that requires them to use it, such as it could be how one looks at Facebook, how your Snapchat looks, even as complex as the dashboard in your car. I make that. And I wanted to continue doing that. Therefore, I switched my major, and it was time to go away from home. I was four and a half hours away from home. It was my first time going to a huge town. I stepped into my first engineering class and said, this can't be real. I'm the only brown girl in here. I took that in and said, I'm going to change the industry. During my time in undergrad degree, it was difficult. I was told by college advisors, you should ch change your major. I was told, you're not gonna graduate in four years, maybe in five. I took that in with a grain of salt like everything else I do. I said, max me out in credits until I graduate. So my average semester was 18 to 19 credits and I dealt with it. I knew that I had to make this happen. I was at parties in the corner with my laptop at 10 p.m. doing discussion boards because it's due at midnight. During my undergrad degree, I was told by male colleagues, you're not a real engineer, go back to communications, you're not gonna make it. I was told by college professors, how did you even get here? The one that's ingrained in my memory is a college professor pulling me out of class, telling me, no one's ever gonna wanna work with you. I took that in with a grain of salt with everything I do in life and was determined. So I graduated in four years. Tired, but I graduated. I graduated Arizona State University of May 2017 being a Baird Honors College student. But I still wasn't satisfied. I didn't want to be your typical engineer, making a six-figure salary at the age of 21, working at Intel, Honeywell, or Apple. I knew I had to make myself different. I knew that I didn't want to be driving a Porsche at the age of 23, and I didn't want to wear Louis Vuittons to work. Therefore, I did the craziest thing anyone has ever done with an engineering degree. I joined a nonprofit and joined an AmeriCorps program called Million Dollar Teacher Project. It focuses in education. 
I was their technology integration specialist for the Alhambra district. I completely changed their curriculum when it came to technology. My work became known. I finally had a purpose in life. I became so well known in work that I was in Good Morning Arizona. I was giving conferences at universities. I was giving conferences and nonprofit work. I knew that I made a difference. More than that piece of paper telling me I'm an engineer that cost me $40,000. I did something with my life. Therefore, I continued on my work and went to tech data. I work now in a distribution company that I deal with cloud. Where your pictures go, I work in that. I knew that I had to make a difference. People tell me all the time, you're at the height of your career. What are you gonna do? You're at everything you ever wanted. I say, I'm not done here. I'm not at where I wanna be. So people ask me all the time, what are your dreams? Dreams, I don't believe in dreams. Dreams are something that are fragments of your imagination that you don't take the steps in doing to create. Therefore, I say, my goals, my goals in life are continue my education in a master's program in one of the top engineering I want to become a PE. Be. I want to be a professional engineer. I also want to be on Times Magazine for most influential person, not Kim Kardashian for doing absolutely nothing. But Beatrice Mendoza, Beatrice Mendoza being a female engineer who inspired thousands of little girls to become STEM majors and to not let any barrier of their road stop. So let me ask you one more time. Close your eyes. Open them. Think of the word engineer. How many of you think of a young guy sitting on a computer wearing a hoodie? How many of you think of an older guy that has a pocket protector and has a pension? How many of you think of Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, or Bill Gates? How many of you think of a female engineer? Raise your hand. Thank you.